Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Polybridge 3 where we're battling some of the hardest levels we've seen on the game and we're on to level 9 splitting lanes. So for this one we've got a, a dirt bike over here we've just got to get him across the gorge to the flag over that side however look there's a dark patch down the middle so we can't build in there meaning we're not actually going to be building a bridge probably more of a ramp. Now what I'm thinking initially is I want to get as high as possible so what if I were to just let's just try something very very basic because I just want to see how steep we can go so if we press play there can our bike get up it's what the hell it's a front wheel drive bike what <laughs> do they exist man that would be really weird to control actually anyway even if we speed up time it looks like we don't have the power meaning that's too steep so what if we try what if we try that steep okay if I speed up it <laughs> It does move, but perhaps I should probably go just slightly shallower. But that gives me sort of a base to see just how high up I can get. So if we do that, if we speed time up and then zoom out. <laughs> I mean, we will make it up there, but imagine we'll just plop into the sploosh afterwards. Whereas I probably need a bit of speed to try and, well, to try and jump this thing ideally. So whilst our ramp won't be as high, I think it probably makes more sense to make it flatter so we can pick up a bit of speed so something like that oh it's so slow i probably should have checked how fast the bike can actually go because that <laughs> that's not getting anywhere so the speed of this thing is only three meters a second which is basically nothing which means perhaps i want to look at a different method of getting this across i mean i do i do have springs oh but they're springs i can't actually i can't change the the springness of them okay so they're pointless i mean i guess then i just do something like that i then do like a vertical bit of road up there leaning to the right a little bit i can then probably spring like between there and then when i press play Oh, I was hoping that might fall forwards. Maybe the bike nudging it will help it move forwards. Maybe not. Okay, if I do that, though, then it will fall forwards and completely die. Okay, something like this, though. If I... Ah! If I get the length just right, then it should... Ah! I was going to say it should stop in the right place, but I think what I might have to do is... Like, Bring that spring at. Bring it a bit higher like that. And then I can copy this to the other side like that. Get rid of the springy bits. And then hopefully as we drive over this. This is massively, massively over designed by the way with all the steel. But that should. Oh no. Because <laughs> that should get us across. I think we just need to bring this down quite a bit. But hopefully this time we're a bit higher. Yes. Oh, it makes it perfectly nice. Uh, the trouble is I'm in the bottom 22% of of scores here. So whilst that is a solution, it's not the solution. What I need to, I need to have a little play. If I were to like get our bike to go up a little bit then can i like pick up some speed by going down because if i can pick up speed i can do a jump so that's the theory let's see oh yeah we pick up speed oh we do we do a fairly decent jump actually so if i just remember what that steepest slope was it was about that i wonder how far down we need to go to actually do this i may need some springs but uh, let's just see the jump at the moment oh it does make it it makes it okay so i may need to just change the jump a bit so we don't land so like back heavy but i think what i need to do is sort of try to account for the like down slope for something a bit more at like that i mean to be fair actually why why am i going up first can i not just can i not just bring all this down a bit so if my ramp is a bit lower does that work fairly smoothly oh yeah it does i think i can get rid of that bit of road actually so you have a bit of a jump there oh yeah that's good that is good okay so that's a way better jump what i might do is try and make this wood like straight away i think do everything you can to this side to make it as cheap as possible and then do the landing so it's just a question of can i can i get this to work in just wood anyway that's reasonably cheap i mean could i swap that with that sort of thing oh not quite what broke that bit Okay, that worked. 37 grand. Oh, the rope was also 37 grand. 37,457. 37,101. Okay, so that is cheaper. So that's our solution for the left side. Now, if we just slow this down, we've just got to make a ramp the down angle. So I think something like that. So that it lands. Oh, it takes the impact. Oh, it works. Is it going to get to the top? Okay, it gets to the top. Let's try and make this side cheaper then. So to start with, let's lose pretty much all of this steel. And then we can see 
yeah, those under bits are definitely going to break. If we steal them up, oh, they still break in a big way. Okay, so I did a bit of trimming. This is what I came up with. You got a little bit of spring there just to dampen it. We got some steel as well. Actually, could make it slightly cheaper. Swap that rope with a wooden rope. Presumably, it still works doing that. Yeah, easy. So 27,713 quid. We're now, oh, we're now in the top 3%. We beat Tyler, but let's have a look at the lowest budget in the gallery. But first, this video is in paid partnership with BetterHelp. This time of year can get us down. Christmas is over. The days are short, dark, and cold, and this can have a major impact on our mental health. And speaking to a professional therapist could relieve some of that pressure. Starting therapy can be daunting, especially if you find face-to-face -face interaction of therapy uncomfortable. But with BetterHelp, the whole process is pretty quick and simple. All you have to do is answer a few questions about your needs and preferences, and then BetterHelp match you with one of their credential therapists in as little as 48 hours. It's all online and remote, so you can message your therapist anytime and schedule a live session whenever is good for you. And because finding a therapist is a very personal and individualized experience, if you don't really fit with that therapist, which is a common thing with therapy, you can easily switch to a new one at no additional cost. So just like the many people who have started going to the gym this month to look after their physical health, why not consider taking some time for your mental health with online therapy through BetterHelp? Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com forward slash real civil engineer to get 10% off your first month. Thanks to BetterHelp for supporting the channel, but let's get back to that gallery that isn't cheating. Oh yeah, it's using swings. I did think about the old swing, but they're just such a pain. Oh, that's a cool one. Oh man, like how his head and then a very rickety ramp to the end. So imagine all of these top ones are going to be springs. Oh, this isn't. I thought they're all going to be swings, but they're not. Oh, <laughs> unfortunately, we got the dodgy dangly road things. But yeah, lots and lots of swings. Lots of basically what I did. So yeah, most people worked out the key was to make a ramp. So you travel a bit faster to make that jump. So let's have a look at the highest budget. All right, we got RC propaganda. I like it. Oh, this one's like falls down like my first one did. But it falls down on the other side as well. Nice. Then we've got Alan solution. Alan. <laughs> Alan. All right, then Zerk, who's got oh, a nice little cable stay with the falling supports in the middle as well. Almost making an entire bridge the whole way across. Yunru has double pain. Uh, oh. Oh, they tried to they tried to keep the like cable stayed suspension edge going on on that side. Fair play. How does that even like stay straight? Hi RCE. Hi that man. Your eyes falling over a bit. I'm worried about how phallic that looks. I'm sure it wasn't intended. Oh, we've got the Nifty sponsored solution with speed bumps on the right. Nifty for when you want to take your caffeine intake down a peg to make it like a speed bump. Nice and slow. Warning, Nifty may actually make you hallucinate speed bumps everywhere and you may fall over and walk really slow. Right, Paulos, we got high RCE and and then loads of people riding bikes, but they all fell down. And this one. Oh, we got a legendary. Wait, what? Let me pause it. The legendary spring muscle. <gasps> I've read about this. So where was it pointing? It was pointing. Where's the? Oh, there it is. The legendary spring muscle. It's got steel around the outside, spring in the middle. Oh, look at it. And I don't know if you can see in there, but there's like there's like muscles within muscles. Muscle section. And also R C E. The propaganda is real. Uh, space. We've. <laughs> We've gone with the jump thing, but they've used like really strong engineering principles to get that quite strong on the right. Uh, likewise, this guy's got very strong ball braces underneath to help support the bridge above. Uh, this one. Oh, what's going on? There? Oh, they're like weird little baldy dangly bits of road in the middle. This one. Oh, look, that's sort of what I tried to do initially, like make my ramp go up. They just went very up. And the catch. Oh, the catch. <laughs> They didn't even use springs down there. We're going on the, this one, which is my, my first solution, but there's broke. And then we have some very flexible bridges. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How are they? Oh, they actually did a little jump as well. Nice. Oh, this one. Look at that. Look at that. It's like swinging. Is it going to actually catch? Yeah, slightly, <laughs> slightly gives it some length. Decent. Anyway, unfortunately, we now have to go back to the twisted turnpike. We're doing a hydraulic level. It's called switching sides. Oh, no. Look how many hydraulic phases there are and how many vehicles there are. Why do people enjoy these levels? Oh, we've only got 12 bits of road, so I can't cheese it. Okay, right. What have we got? We've got A over there. They've got to get to the stop sign up there. So that means we need a diagonal. So that goes like that. Then once it's up there, it's got oh, it's got to get back down again. So down to there. So that's how you do the first 
part. I'm hoping all I have to do is like with these ones, I just have to like rotate about the middle point and do that. If I have to do like that and then that and then like back to that, that's going to be a pain. If I can just keep the middle points like where they are and just rotate like that, then I'm happy. I can do that. So C goes next. As long as that goes down. Yes, it does. Then back up. Okay, that's cool. So then E, you go up and then down. Oh no, you go up and then, oh no, it goes up and then up. Oh no, that's annoying. And then G goes down and then stays down. Oh no. I think the first movement is that. Second movement is that. But then I have to do like that and then down to there. Oh, really game? <laughs> okay, so I know I've got six bits of road to do. I reckon on the on this side, let's just get our road in. So boosh. Then we got a point in the middle. So if I just do a rope to there and a rope to there, then that holds everything in the middle. I then need to make that a joint, but lock the rope in. Make that a joint, but lock the rope in. Make that a joint and make that a joint. Then if I just truss this up, then all I need is a hydraulic to be able to like rotate it to where it needs to go, obviously. Oh, I'll tell you what, actually, I'll tell you what could I if I make my road go like over that node like that because then I have this anchor in the middle and maybe I can use that to like get the rotation maybe like if I did say that will that rotate this grid ah everything unlocked <laughs> And I think I need an extra node down to there, don't I? I mean, it does rotate just the wrong direction. Uh, what if my truss was underneath rather than on top? I mean, that's just no, that's just going to bend in half, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> if I go back to that bridge through there, I'm pretty sure I can just like, if I like add a node down like there somewhere, that will get the right rotation. It's just quite expensive. Oh, and that rope came undone. I on, lock that in. Boosh. Okay, so that should rotate to the right. Okay, that's good. That's actually quite good. Oh, who went to the right place? Did you see that? Okay, so I've just winged that to be exactly correct. I didn't even, I'm not even to grid. That's very random. But yeah, for this side, I can't do the same thing. I think for this one, I'm going to need like, I'm going to need like that sort of thing. And then I hold the middle two in place. And then basically these two, they go like from there and then they flap down. So I can do like every movement I need to. Um, but I think it, it starts like that, doesn't it? Yeah, because we go downhill. Oh man, how are we going to get these to move to how I want them to? <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, first things first, let's do a truss. So that bit in the middle, that's just on its own. Then that bit over there with a hydraulic there, banding, that should get the movement I need up that side. Then maybe over this side, I just do the same, but I do hydraulic to contract. Then I just need to hold this in place. So maybe I can rope from that node to that node and from that node to that node. Then again, if I Joint those, lock the rope in place, joint that, lock the rope in place, joint that, joint that. Let's just see, does the movement work? Oh, it sort of does. Okay, so first hydraulic phase then. I don't want those two to go. I reckon I probably could get this to like work. Ah, uh, oh, but annoyingly, the car goes way too fast. Okay, so we need to try and smooth these out a bit. Wait, is that going to be better? That might be worse actually. All right, let's see. Is it better? Oh, it's so not better. <laughs> <laughs> right, what if I make these cable double truss this or something as it flies down? Oh, that did work. That made it stronger. Okay, we did red. We did red. So now we just need that hydraulic to go and somehow end up in the right place. I'll tell you what, actually, rather than doing that, couldn't I just like sort of mirror this? So if I take all of that, do copy, flip, flip. Yeah, shove it under there. Then I think that will be like identical. Although I just got to just got to move that rope up to there again. Okay, I think that makes way more sense. I think. Is it strong enough to hold the car that? Yes, it is. So then you go. So then that will move down. That side will move up. They're nearly to the right point. All I've got to do is make them a little bit sort of longer. All right. So let me just see. As this moves. Oh, can you see it's like rotating to the right? I think that's because my cables aren't quite working. Maybe if I did the cables to the middle, it might be better. But look, as we get to this point, you'll see the right one locks in. The node's perfect. So you ready? Lock. Okay, it didn't actually lock that time. I think it will as it bounces back up. Right, it's ready. That will lock in. Boosh. But the left one hasn't locked in. It's like it's too long. But if you look at the middle road, it's tilting to the left. So if I instead went to the middle node like I did originally, then... Oh, no. Then the middle rotates, doesn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, not ideal. Not ideal. How about instead then? I keep the rope going to that one. But maybe over this side... 
What if I, from down here, what if I do like a muscle up to there? So I'll put that over the top of it. So then we've only got flex on that on that side. This side, we're holding it in place with that. That may need like a joint up to there, maybe. All right, unfortunately, it wasn't as strong. So I had to put the cable back in. But just bracing that has meant there's no movement there, which means I can just tweak these until they do both. Oh, I was about to say, yes, they do both lock in. Okay. Oh, but now, now the car can't get up. Oh, okay. So I've got to just slightly change the road and hope that the red car doesn't die. So is it strong enough for the red car? Okay. Yes, it still is. Can the moving car get up there now? If I fast forward it? No, he's stuck. Okay. So let's bring that down flat. The trouble is the lower that comes down, the more likely the red car will destroy. It still can't get up. Okay. Well, we're going to have to go flat. To be fair, I've got this extra brace now, this muscle down there. So maybe that added strength will mean, yes, the red car does not destroy it. All right. Please get up. Yes, yes, all the way, all the way. Yes, okay. All right, so then it's just a case of doing the hydraulic controller, which means if I play this at fast speed, everything should work perfectly. So you're up, green car goes, gre oh, green car. Oh, that's going to change everything, trying to make him not front flip. What a knob, what an absolute knob. All right, so what happens? I have slightly tweaked it, so it might actually work. It gets to the, oh, it is working. Yes speed up. Yes. Okay. I think we did it. I did a very small tweak of that road in the middle, but oh no, I did the hydraulics wrong. But after changing the hydraulics, yes, we did it. We did a hydraulic level for 28 grand. We're, oh, we're in the top 7%. That ain't too shabby. Didn't beat Tyler, but who cares? Let's have a look at the cheapest solution to this. Oh, it is literally what I did sort of, but um, a hell of a lot cheaper. They saved eight grand compared to mine. <laughs> now, I mean, look at the movement they did for the left hydraulic. Just a tiny little hydraulic there. Oh, yeah. It's basically what I did, but it's coming off the, you know, like the rope like hanging down there. So rather than adding an extra node down the bottom, you just use that rope. That makes sense, actually. Um, oh, this one a little bit different. Look at the, the right hand side. It's like an asymmetrical sort of weird thing, uh, but it works. You cannot say it doesn't work. Oh, front flip for style points at the end as well. Anyway, enough about lowest budget. Let's get to the real end of the gallery. Oh, look at that. RC propaganda out the top. Crazy arms out the side. Hydraulic muscles doing the work. This one... <laughs> Hello there, little mate. What have you actually done for your solution? I mean, to be fair, it's not its not that obscene. I've just got like a sort of an arch, a low polygon arch over the top, um, and then just used two two hydraulic cables either side to, to do the business. Uh, of course, we've got Alan's solution, which has one of those along the top, rowing all the time. <laughs> and then, oh, the nifty sponsored solution. Oh, he made RCE propaganda to the untrained eye. It's just gibberish. But to the engineer, it's RCE propaganda. I tell you what, that gets my stamp of approval for a certified engineer solution. And by the way, check out my brand new certified engineer t-shirts in my merch store, realcivilengineer.com. And honestly, I think Nifty has earned one. So in Discord, uh, send me a message and I'll send you one of those free shirts. Let me know if you whether you want the blue one or the red one. But uh, you have earned it, my friend. Anyway, that man with the high RCE and an exclamation mark. What is going on there? Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's one way to do this solution, I guess. <laughs> Look at the state of that. So they literally move like the bits of road from like one side to the other. Why have a simple life when you can do it that way? Uh, this one, RCE, I hate hydraulics. Yes, Paolo's, so do I. So do I. I mean, to be fair, you did a very good job there. I mean, yes, your budget's quite a lot and there was braking, but quite a neat solution. Very short hydraulics. Um, oh, look at this propaganda. That's so neat. Although middle bit of the E, a little bit chonky there. All right. So we've got this one sort of Greek Greek font for the RCE propaganda. There. And oh, look at that. They're like, it works like cranes. Like they're hanging from cables and like the hydraulics around the back of it. Oh, that's quite cool. I like the counterweight in the middle. That makes all the difference to the engineering principles, I'm sure. Oh my goodness. Okay. Someone did it without hydraulics. It's all just counterweights. What the actual frig? How do you... What? <laughs> Look at the counterweights just like going up and down and my brain cannot... Words elude me. Right, let's move away from that one. Let's go back to RC propaganda. That's something I can understand. <laughs> oh, and hydraulic muscles. Nice. All right, and then this level. I spent two hours on this level. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I'm not the only person that struggled with this. To be fair, everyone's done like really neat looking solutions. Like they look way better than mine despite a shovel falling on them. But yeah, I, I feel like I'm maybe learning hydraulics because I did not spend two hours on that. I spent like half an hour maybe Maybe. So maybe I'm guessing better. Oh my goodness. Oh, how do you do stuff like that? Right, how are you going to do this bit then? 
that on the oh just that half goes oh and then oh my god <laughs> they all went to do the last movement oh man i feel like you wouldn't earn certified engineer you just earn like certified magician okay. oh look at this one the double arch fair play and then this one the low poly version of that <laughs> right, anyway, we're back in the Arctic Tundra. We're doing bus barrier. We got 43 grand. Oh, no, there is a hydraulic in it. Uh, oh, what is going on here? So we've got a bus. That's got to get over to the flag in the middle. I can only build below, like, the dark area. So I can only build a bridge down there. There is... There's a barrier there. So presumably the, the bus is going to stop. And then we've got a... Oh, is this thing fast? Yeah, 10 meters a second speed. So that's going to go... I guess we need to bring a ramp up behind the bus so it can jump over it. All right, so to start with, let's put the road across like that. Then we'll just do our trusses underneath. Because remember, we can't, we can't truss over the top. It's red up there. Now, I imagine buses are going to be pretty strong. So maybe that sort of bridge won't work. But uh, let's just let's just see what happens. So school bus drives over to there, crashes into the barrier. And then this thing comes up behind. OK, so it should be reasonably simple. We put a joint in there. Oh, yeah, we need to disconnect. Yeah, we need to get rid of like that in the middle to allow us to like hydraulic that bit up from that point. So we're probably going to need like extra support. So bus still gets across and then oh no <laughs> so that definitely needs to like be over this side a bit but i'm hoping yeah this side lifts up and then we've got a ramp oh that is not high enough that is out not high enough so this is probably where the legendary hydraulic muscle comes in handy so if we just expand all of those the one in the middle can contract and i think that should give us like a fair bit of height so yes it's higher it is definitely higher so now that goes oh no the strength there was not great all right, i've just tweaked this this should be a lot stronger Oh, I'll tell you what, actually, I've just had a, I've just had a thought. I know, dangerous, but I was like, why, why is there a node down here? I think you're not meant to go over the bus. You're meant to go under it. So instead, if I take this road and go like down and then maybe, maybe if it goes back up to there, I can, I don't know, maybe just drop, drop that. But I think basically I want there to be a ramp like to there. I can make that a joint. And then as long as I support that. So if I just like, I don't know, muscle up to there, I uh, don't really have space on top. I'll tell you what, I will, let's try try and get a tension bridge between those. So if I just rope like that sort of thing, maybe that will be strong enough. I can then just shove a bridge on there. Make sure these are all connected to ones there, connected to twos. All right, I'm worried about the kadonk there. Oh, wow. Okay, that was a bit heavier than I thought. Let's make this a bit bigger because basically all the weight of the bus is just resting on this rope. Oh, that was good. That was good. Oh, that was nearly good. Unfortunately, you can't really make these much bigger bigger. I could go underneath though if I need to. But I'm glad the tension bit works. Oh yeah, okay, that works. Okay, so now that drops down and then let's see where that Oh no! <laughs> I was going to say, let's see where that ends up. But it dies. Um, Would it be worth trying to, if I were to just like wall brace this, make that rope. I probably need to put like steel under that bit. Yeah, that bit broke. So I'll make that steel. Let's turn the stress on. Okay, I'm hoping that will make this stronger for this part. Yes, it did. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, right, we end up down here, which means I just need to build a ramp to get up there. Now, unfortunately, I can't really... Man, it's going to have to be quite a big ramp, I think. Oh, I can road from there. Okay, so this could work. I can just do my ramp like that, I think. All right, okay, let's see whether that works. Oh, it does. Yes. Oh, we did it. We did it. <laughs> Decent. I'm in the top 6%. I didn't beat Tyler. Oh, I only buy a few hundred quid. Hang on a second. Let's try making you wood. Okay, so that's a bit cheaper, I think. I don't know how cheap did I need to be. Oh, smashed it. Oh, I saved loads of money there. I'm in the top 3%. I'm 120th. Sweet. Okay, let's have a look at the lowest budget. 11 grand. Half my budget. It's a cheeky banana bridge. Old mine cat. And what happens at the end? Oh, it does the same thing. But how did you get that ramp to work? Oh, you made it fall down. Look. Right, so then this one goes Saigon. Oh, it's well similar to mine. Although they've got a really dodgy bit of... I, I don't like that, mate. I don't like that. Their ramp's massive on the right. Look at the size of that ramp. Hang, hang on. Does that one fall down as well? To keep an eye on this ramp, does it start vertical and then falls down? Okay. And nearly everyone went down. I haven't seen anyone go over the bus yet. I want to know who was the cheapest... Oh, look, it's Alan doing a legit solution. <laughs> Oh, and he's the cheapest person that went over the bus. You had to use the bus as a ramp? Interesting. Good job, Alan. Anyway, the most expensive solutions. It wasn't me with the RCE propaganda. I don't know what that is. Does that actually do anything? Oh, the bridge lowers, though. We still go under for the most expensive solution. <laughs> we then got Alan's actual solution. <laughs> 
<laughs> Using engineering principles. Good job. Oh, well, hang on. What does that say? What does that actually say? No budget for propaganda. Sorry, RC. <laughs> oh, nice. I mean, you have got RC at the end. Maybe if you just spelt that rather than the whole long sentence, you would have had the budget. Just saying. Uh, RC and Paddy. Yay, Paddy. Oh, Paddy with three Ds. <laughs> it's Paddy, but 3D. Anyway, lots of lots of RC propaganda going on this. Oh, look at that. They just jumped over the entire thing. Fair play. Oh, it's Nifty. It was the Nifty sponsored solution. I didn't even realize. Oh, hang on. What does that say? What is that? Oh, I missed it. What is it? What is oh, it's more coordinates. Not this again. I assume I assume I gotta Google these, and this is gonna take me somewhere that's probably very efficient looking. It's <laughs> Yes, what a legend. That is nature for you. That is actual nature. It's even got like a, it's got a nut and a vein as well. That is detail. Anyway, thanks Rye the Pie for that. I should probably actually look at your bridge as well. Was it worth the real life GeoGuessr? Ooh. Oh, yes, it was. It was very different. They brought the ramp, the first bit of the ramp down, left the second bit there. Nice. Well, they were fun, but we are on to the next hydraulic level. Oh, this looks a pain. I'm not going to lie. Fetch quest. We got two hydraulic phases, two vehicles to get across, a hydraulic phase in the middle. Oh, no, we're limited to that. No, we've got no road. <laughs> oh, there's road over there that does that. Oh, it's showing me how to do it. I've got to use hydraulics to like pick up the road. So I think that's, I think that's road over there. Okay. So, oh man, this could take some thinking. So I'll tell you what, whilst I try and work all this out for you guys, it's engineering time. Wake up kids. Oh, we got bridges to build. Be careful as architects probably will. Terrible designs. Thank goodness we are so skilled. We're skilled at polishing sets. Because these all are absurd. They forget gravity exists all the time. The engineers will fix it. Don't worry, the engineers will fix it. Can't be built, the engineers will fix it. Overpaid, unlike the engineers that fix your work, all architects are aware. All right, well, to be fair, my first stab actually worked. I tried to make it cheaper and I couldn't because I failed. I hate hydraulics. Uh, so we'll just stick with my first solution. I'm pretty proud of that. Pat on the back for Matt, I reckon. Anyway, we didn't do very well. We're in the bottom 35%. Don't even want to know about that guy. But we could have done this for four grand. What? Oh, they're not even sure enough. Okay, let's have a look at another one. This one's 4,600. Oh my goodness. How? Oh, look, they played about the first one so it makes the car go down so look if you look at this first level you can add joints to that and therefore you can make it do that so it goes down then you only need to worry about one side of this that's so cool people are so smart so i'm guessing every every cheap option figured that out yes i did not fair play right let's have a look at the highest budget so what have we got oh it's basically mine but with like some fancy architecture in the background minus one point for architecture anyway this side oh look we got rce Pointing down. It's me. No way. <laughs> I'm a bridge. That was actually me. Anyway, hi RCE with a waving hand. Hi, that man. We've got all the artsy solution. It's very arty, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Beazle Bob, who's actually, rather than using arty stuff, they've used just hardcore engineering principles. Good job there. We've got, oh, the R. Wait, what? There's no C in the middle. That's like R, R A E. Real average engineer. Oh, no. They're on to me. They're finally on to me. Uh, the Allen solution, of course, he's tattooed his thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's proper commitment to the channel, that is. And then, oh, of course, this guy's done it without without hydraulics. Oh, and they did the, the cheeky solution as well. Fair play. Anyway, what's going on with that? Oh, look, it like uncurls and curls back up. <laughs> oh, people are too clever. All right, anyway, you can see we are nearly there on the bars. We've got like four levels of that world and four levels of that world. So probably two videos left until we finally get onto Roll Top Avenue. Uh, but for now, I'll say peace, love, and bridges. Bye, guys.